I always heard about instruments that uh, don't exist anymore, like a psaltery or a rebec or a lute, and wondered, you know, I wonder what those things sound like. You know, so I do some research, look them up, uh, find out how to build them, then I'd build them, and then I'd learn to play them. He's always built instruments from when I was really little, since I can remember. So he's always been in the garage building something. Harps kind of came later. And then he started designing his uh, own harp and taking those designs, and he took all his knowledge from building all the other instruments, like violins and guitars and everything, and, and kind of changed the harp design. If you want to play a guitar or you want to play a violin, you can go and get yourself a cheap guitar and a cheap violin. And they're hard to play and they're not well built, but it gives you an idea what's going on and you, and you decide whether you want to play that or not, and then you get yourself a decent instrument. In the harp world, there really wasn't anything for people to get started with. I mean, the investment was three or $4,000 to see whether you wanted to do it or not. So I thought, well, why don't we build something that's inexpensive and be good for students? We have these small harps called harpsicle harps. They're very portable, they're lightweight, they're inexpensive, and William has made the perfect design for that. We really didn't market these harps at all that much. Um, in the beginning, we had like a couple of ads about them, but we didn't expect them to be, you know, this big hit. But since there's no other instrument like this out there in the world that's portable, inexpensive, that sounds great, even the harp world was kind of shocked. We were thinking this would just be another harp in our harp line, but it really blew up and it was very exciting for us because it was just this new niche that no one has reached out to yet. And, and the thing that I didn't expect with it is that there are gobs of really good professionals that play the harpsichord. And, and it's because if you're a, a good musician, you want something that sounds good. You've got to have something that sounds good and stays in tune, and that instrument did that. People actually use the harpsicles to take on tour with them. We actually can make them electric, put electric pickup in them, and people play with them on stage and strap them on like you'd strap on a guitar so you can actually move around the stage and be mobile with the harp. They have whole bands backing them up and it's just changing the way people play harp and where they play harp. I met my wife here and her mom works for us as well. And then her mom's best friend, who's her neighbor, works for us, which is Darlene, our harp teacher. And then my brother-in-law, he builds the harps. And my sister, she's now working for us. And it's just really neat to have that dynamic, uh, having the whole family involved. Well, I'm really, I'm really glad about that because I know there's a lot of companies out there where the father or the mother get it going and then the offspring don't care anything about it. But my youngest son, Garrett, I mean, he was doing the decorations on the harp when he was, I think, 15, 16. So it's really nice that there's a lot of interest and, and uh, they, they do a lot of things much better than I do. Sometimes when people say, well, what's going to be the quality like once you're gone? And I go, oh, it's better. I just want us to be able to continue to make a harp that gets better and better and that everybody can afford. It's just, I just want to see harps in the hands of everybody. I want harps to be like guitars, basically. I've always enjoyed doing the decorations on the harps. I used to always say, I love my job. And there's not many people that can actually say that. So I would love coming in every day, painting, and seeing the look on people's faces when they would come and pick up their harps and see what I did on their harps and the decorations and customizing of them. But really that kind of started to dwindle off when we started doing the harpsicles. I transitioned to doing more customer service and seeing where our harps were going and what they were doing. And that's almost just as satisfying to see how happy that our harps are making other people. And I guess that, that's kind of the drive, the happiness that people get from our instruments. It's like nothing else.